Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time hearing a video, my name is Aisha. My channel is Life is Aisha. And make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, comment, all that good stuff. Today we're going to be doing a video on, if per the title, Slay on a Budget. Or as I like to say, Bougie on a Budget. Looking at my bag of shop, uh, shopping store that I recently went to, and this is Charlotte Bruce. I went here this past weekend, and I did an Instagram post. I will insert the picture up here right now on the screen. And basically, I'm going to tell you all how I was able to grab all of the items that, I, that are in the picture for like $30. Also, I'm going to give little tips that I use when I go shopping and just little things that I think will be great to know about shopping on a budget. So first, I'm going to get into the items that I have. My first item that I want to get into are these chunky mural heels right here. And what I love so much about these is for one, it's this blush pink color, which is like my absolute favorite color. I say they like in almost every video, but I really love this color. And this is, it has like little feather details right here. And they're soft. Like, you know, like normally with shoes like this, they'll be kind of like cheaply made. These are really soft to me. And the original price for these, um, I have my receipt. And these were regular $32.99. I have my receipt here. They were $32.99. They were actually marked down to $14.99 um, on the bottom of the shoe here. And I was thinking I was going to pay $15 for the shoe, which I was like, that's still a good price. It's like half off. But when I got to the counter, they were, let me not drop anything. They were $9.99. So I was like, that is so cool or whatever. I was so happy about this. Next, I'm going to talk about... Next, I'm going to talk about the accessories that I got from there. Um, this is just a little bag here that it came in. Charlotte's bag. And let me pull out all of the chokers I got. Yes, I went a little choker crazy. Um, if you follow me on social media or anything, or just know me personally, I love chokers. I have one on right now. And chokers can be a little bit expensive depending on where you're getting them from. So I was so happy to go in and they had all of their chokers for only $2. If you look on my receipt here, everything was $2. So let me just start. I'm dropping stuff. <laughs> let me just start out with this one. And I don't have much silver in my um, wardrobe. So I was like, yes, I want to get a good amount of silver chokers. I thought these were cute. This one at the bottom, I thought that would be really cute for dressing up, like going out or something like that. I have this one here. And this top one is kind of like a mesh-ish material. And the bottom one here is a holographic material. So I thought those are both adorable. And I can wear them with silver or even any other like colors if I want to mix the prints or mix metals or something like that. And of course, gold is my fave. Choker here, and it's kind of like a um, like an Egyptian kind of little print or whatever. And it's really heavy. This was regular seven dollars, and that's how that looks. That's like one of my favorite ones, and that one was actually a dollar ninety nine. If you can tell by the the um, price right there, it was actually a dollar ninety nine. So I was like. <laughs> A penny cheaper but still that's still a good price and then I have I got this one here and it's like a um, a combo pack I um, mean it's a whole lot of them on here and this was regular six dollars and I really like the one that said love here I want to do like the look where you layer multiple chokers like kind of space them apart 
so I want to do that look and I thought those were just adorable and the last one I got probably my favorite one and it was actually the first one that I saw when I came to the store I was like I gotta have that one and it's this one here I actually thought it was like two choker well one choker all together it was, it's actually two but this is the first one here and this is the second one I'm gonna keep it in this little plastic bag because this was two dollar jewelry so it is not you know it's, it will fade <laughs> if you wear it enough so that's how that looks and it's just like a tassel one the last thing that I got from there um, they had a a lot of their like graphic tees and different things on sale I think it's like their happy hour sale or something so I'm not sure if it's an all-day thing but I do know that when I went there it was on sale and um, this shirt was regular $22.99 and it's just a, one of those shirts you've probably seen like I have a lot of these shirts that are like with the V cut out and different things in it and that's just how it looks I actually got it because I was gonna wear it to like the car show that I didn't end up going to but um, <laughs> yeah but that's just how it looks and it's just um, this gray t-shirt but I got that for 920 it says cut out neck racing tee 920 so I'm assuming what they did was everything was marked off in the store I think it was like a 50 to 60 percent off sale and then the happy hour sale was applied on top of that so it was actually 1379 in store but I got it for 920 and my subtotal came up to 2919 right there so yes I got all these items for $30 and which I really feel like was a really big steal one. and I didn't grab a whole lot of things from there I just got a couple items um, mostly I wanted this is my receipt here mostly I went in there and when I saw these jeans um, I have a video on Instagram and in my last vlog of me trying them on but they are these jeans well not jeans pants here they have the lace up detailing like from down the pants leg and I really like them they fit so good and um they're like jegging so they stretch it actually says on here high rise ankle jegging right there but no so we, this is this is how I got the deal those were 32 they were regular hold on so I don't tell the wrong price those are regular 32.99 $32.99 and I was like $33 for one pair of pants so I was like let me see what I can do now this is the first tip when you're in the store always go and check out retailmenot.com um, this is not a paid video or anything they're not telling me to tell you about this this is 100% my own thoughts and what we retail me not is a website that basically they give you coupons coupon codes you can use them in store or online and, at this, and you can actually click on there. I think it says online, in-store, or both. And if I'm in a store out shopping, I just click in-store. So all of the coupons that are available in-store come up. And one of their coupons came up. I'll show it up on the screen here. And I was like, hmm. So what I did was I went to the counter with my pants. And I asked the lady. I said, can I apply this coupon code? Because that's the worst thing you can do is get somewhere thinking you can use the coupon code and you can't. So it was nobody lying, so I was like, yeah, let me just go check and ask her. And she said, well, actually, you need a total of $40, I think. And then she said, you'll be able to do it. So I said, $32.99. So I told her, hold my pants at the counter, and I will go grab some more items that will basically put me over the amount. So, all right, so yeah. So what I did was I grabbed this choker here that said babe on it. I said, I'll... Clearly, I love chokers. I wasn't going in there for chokers, but I had to grab something that was like cheap that would put me over the amount so I could get the discount price. So, follow me here. So, this was $5 here. And this one was $7.99. It's regular $7.99. But, when I went to the counter, it actually, one of them rung up. Oh, I have one that's not here. Um, I'm not sure where I put it at, but that doesn't really matter. Yeah, this one right here rung up for four fifty eight. This one here rung up for three dollars, and I have another choker that rung up for three dollars as well. So that put me at a subtotal of 
$46.98, which I went a little over, but that didn't really matter because I was able to apply the coupon the $20 off of $40, which and the tax was $1.89. So my total ended up being $28.87, which is another total that's less than $30. And basically meaning that I got basically mean I got these pants here. These two chokers here, plus another choker that's not in this video, all for under $30, like $28 basically. And the pants are, pants are regular $32.99, which, yes, it was a deal to me because if I wanted just the pants anyway and I was going to spend $33 plus tax for the pants, I may as well add it on other accessories, basically getting all of those for free and the pants for underneath retail. I want to touch on this Ebates.com. And um, it's in, is it a website? I think it is a website, but I use the app of ebates.com. And basically what ebates is, um, it's a website where you sign up for it. And I have a code that is in my description box and I will put it on the screen as well. But with ebates, you use the code, um, someone else's code. And basically when you use their code, you get money when you make your first purchase and they also receive um, like ten dollars or twenty dollars or something like that also after you make a qualifying purchase and what you do with ebay's is it's not every like it's not literally every website out there but it is a good amount of websites and what it does is it takes off a percentage off of your item and you also can gain cash back on each item now you're not going to be gaining like if you buy something for fifteen dollars you're not going to get ten dollars back off of it we buy something for like fifteen dollars, you get like a couple bucks off of it, which is still a good deal because if you're gonna buy the item anyway, why not get some of your money back? So um, I do that quite often, and what they do is they send, they will mail you out a check. I think you can set it up through direct deposit. Um, I'm just um, late to the wave, so I haven't done that yet. But I think you can set it up through direct deposit, and but I have I get my mail as a paper check. And they come like every two or every three months and you cash them, you sign the back of the check, you cash like a regular check. And that's basically your money accumulated from all your purchases. The cash back you got from all your purchases is accumulated to one check and you cash it. And it's basically like free money just for using the app. So it's beneficial if you shop often. They also have some um, deals that you can do in store like cash back in store from using like your debit card. Um, but I will leave all the information below. Next is coupons.com. And that's not only for clothing items. That's for grocery items. Just items in general. Miscellaneous items. And... I always just search for every website. Like I was saying, I was just in Route 21 in Charlotte. I didn't go on there planning on using the coupon, but I really just went to look. And I was like, hmm, I see these items, but can I get them for even cheaper than they already are? So I just went to Google, typed in a website, and what I would do is put Route 21 coupons or Route 21 promo code, Charlotte Roots coupons, Charlotte Roots promo code. And what will pop up, you will have like Retail Me Not and different websites. I always choose Retail Me Not because it's the most common one. And I feel like I can always find what I'm looking for on RetailMeNot.com. So once I do that, and it's not always come up, obviously, but majority of the time, um, especially on weekends, I've noticed it will have a nice promo code that you can use towards your purchase. Also... I don't know what step this is, <laughs> but sign up for the newsletter. If you're an online shopper or even if you're an in-store shopper, whatever um, clothing website or clothing store that you frequent and you like, sign up for the newsletter. You just sign up with your email and normally you may have to create a, an account like for the password or something. So once you do that, they will send you out a newsletter or they will ask you, do you want to get mobile texting? I normally do both. With the newsletter, what they normally do is they send you like a 10%, 15%, sometimes 20 to 25% off code off your first item. So you are already saving. I typically do that like I did with my um, clothing, my collective clothing haul video with the auto purse I got. I knew I wanted an auto purse, so what I did was I just created an account with an email, signed up for the newsletter, I got the coupon code because the purse is already on sale. So I was like, I want to get an extra 
percentage off of that purse. So I signed up for it and sometimes the email will come automatically. Sometimes it'll come the next day or next morning or something. But if you can wait it out and hold out for you to get that email, apply the promo code. Most of the times it works on any item including sale. Not, not all the time it will include sale. But without or include the sale. So I got that purse like it was like 30 or 40 percent off already and I got an additional 15 percent I think so they made it like over 50 percent off you know over half off the item which if I can get 50 percent to 60 percent off I feel like I need some good saving for today um also with the mobile texting what you would have to do is normally it's free text um it'll say like something like carrier messages carrier rates apply but if you have like unlimited texting which most people do nowadays it's not going to cost or charge you anything. And once you have done it, you would normally have to send like send this number to like 25654 or something like that. And when you sign up for the text, they'll send something back like reply with welcome or reply with code and you a promo. And you when you reply with that, they'll send you out your first text and you will receive like periodic texts whenever they're doing like a big sale or like holidays or something. You always can opt out of the email, I mean, out of the te mobile text after you get the promo code that you want. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't if I feel like I'm going to shop there again and they're going to they're gonna keep sending promo codes or coupons periodically throughout the year, month, or if it's a special occasion, like I said, holidays. So I think that's a great thing. Also on websites, what I do is I create a wish list. I'm, a, I'm the type of person that when I online shop, I kind of shop just like I do in stores. So I see everything I want. I um, more, Most often I just right click and open everything in a new tab so I can have everything in one spot. Then I go back through all everything, everything that I've opened up and I say, okay, if they have my size, I select my size and I add it to my wish list. After I add it to my wish list, then I go back through and Weed out something like, yeah, okay, that's too high. Yeah, I'm not buying it. I don't even like this anymore. So I weed out everything and then I leave them on my wish list. Now, if it's stuff on my wish list that I want now, and it's at the, the perfect price that I want it now, I will go ahead and add it to my cart. If it's not yet, or if I think like, oh, this should be cheap, I can get this cheaper at a later time, I add it to my wish list. And what adding to your wish list will do, it will give the website notice that, okay, She's thinking about buying this item. So what they will then do, do is sometimes, I know for a fact with Fashion Nova, they do this all the time. Buy add stuff to my cart and I just click off the website or do something else, go to Instagram or something. They will send me an email and say, here's 20% off, finish shopping, um, you left something in your cart, like an email like that. And basically what that does is it gives you an automatic promo code. Some websites don't do that automatically. Um, I know Fashion Nova does, but say for instance, if you've had something in there a week, sometimes like a week later or less than a week later, their website will email you and they will say, oh, your cart misses you, different things like that. And they will offer you a promo, promo code or when you go back on the website, um, the product that you put in your clothing um, wish list, on your clothing wish list will sometimes be at a discounted rate. So if you save yourself money by basically waiting out, what I do is certain stuff I'm like, yeah, I don't want to pay that for it. I wait to the very last minute and with my fingers crossed, hoping that it doesn't get sold out. Um, last thing you, well, not the last thing. Another thing you should do is I always check the website's Instagram or Facebook page. A lot of times they don't send emails for every code they have. Um, they will send you, they, they will post a picture or a flash sale or something on an Instagram or Facebook page. So I always keep that in mind. Like if I absolutely can't find a coupon, I'm like, okay, let me check their social media. And a lot of times it's a promo code or a picture on there that's stating like, oh, this is the flash sale, flash sale that we have going on for the moment. So I do that quite often. Free shipping. A lot of times um, you have to get, I think like 30 to $50 worth of stuff. But never think like okay if you have like if say the amount that you're trying to get to is $30 or $35 and you get free shipping if your items are already like you're trying to get $30 and your items are already $25 why not add $5 more of merchandise and then you get free shipping because shipping is already going to be four to ten dollars so you might as well get 
another item for what you're going to pay for shipping. Yes, it's still kind of like paying for shipping, but instead of paying for shipping and not getting anything that shipping costs worth, you'll get an item and you'll get free shipping. So it's kind of like not free shipping, but you get what I'm saying. Like you will, you'll be getting an item. So you'll still, you'll actually be getting something for it. Things to keep in mind with shopping. So the first thing is always, if you see something like this, a designer item, you see a celebrity wearing, don't try to go and buy that same item because I know for me, I can't afford it. So I'm not going to try and be like, oh, I want to get this or that. Yeah, sometimes I splurge, but most often than not, I have, so I, when I buy stuff, it's with a coupon or a promo code. So what I do is I type in, okay, look that Beyonce had on look that Lala had on, look that whomever had on that I want the outfit. And or if I if you go on Fashion Bomb Daily, their Instagram page, they do a lot of look for less item um look for less options. So um with that I type in the item or if I know the name of it like Gucci this or Balenciaga this I put in look for less like with clothing of course and I can get something that looks designer worthy but for less money the only thing that i really splurge on are like my shoes my sneakers sometimes heels um i have a couple of designer bags and like sometimes accessories but other otherwise i don't really splurge on anything if you see an outfit i have on i've pretty much gotten it on sale if i've bought worn it in the last couple of years i've gotten it on sale um that's another thing it's term instead of look for less a dupe for an item this includes even makeup if you want something that is high end but you can't really afford it, just type in so and so dupe or da 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 look for less. Um, also, read reviews. Reviews, um, that's something that I've gotten into doing as of late with items is reading reviews. Reviews can really help you save your money, especially like websites like I've mentioned Fashion Nova, um, Forever 21. Often people will review an item very quickly once they receive their item because I know with Fashion Nova if you review an item they offer you a promo code just for reviewing the item. But basically with reviewing the item what this is going to do is it's going to save you money because a lot of times I'll be like oh this is really cute or this or that and then I go to the review and they say oh that fits small oh that um, it doesn't look like it look it doesn't fit how it looked on a model or it runs small or runs big like it will all, it will help you with picking your sizing it does so much to help you by reading a review the last two things is check the shipping policy on the website if you need something by a certain time don't ever just be like oh let me just have them buy this I hope it comes by this day and you can also email websites I email websites all the time I go to their contact us button and I email them and say I need this item by this day is it going to come in this time um, how long does it take to ship how long does it take to process my payment just so I can know if I'm going to get my item on time and the last thing I want to touch on is watching what I'm on right now watching a YouTube video for a review um, I do this a lot with makeup sometimes clothing as well but a lot of times when I'm in the store and I say oh this is a cool item I've never heard of this I just go to YouTube type in um, what the item is real quick and if a video pops up I stand right down it out watch the video if it says this or that yeah you know I'm like okay I'm gonna get it if it doesn't I'm like yeah I'm gonna pass on it or if I'm looking for a foundation and I'm not sure what color to get I know this video is not about makeup but you know if I don't know what color to get I go to people that I'm familiar with that has like my same skin tone or we wear the same shade of makeup and what I will do is basically you know match it to my skin and different things like that even in like in Sephora especially you can match different things to your skin tone before you purchase it but yeah I hope these tips were helpful this is actually the part one to this slay on a budget video my next video if I still do it don't hold me to it but I plan on doing a slow on a budget bougie on a budget video but um, a lookbook style of it so maybe two or three outfits and basically what I would do is I would break down the outfit from head to toe like from my jewelry necklace earrings shirt pants shoes whatever I have on in the outfit and I would tell you 
how I got the look for less, where you can get it, how much it costs, all of that good stuff. So if you like this video or if you like the idea of me doing a lookbook um, attached to this part two to this video, let me know below. Leave a comment saying yes, do it, say yay or nay. Like this video, comment, subscribe, share it, and yeah, make sure you subscribe. Thank you, thank you for watching. Until next time.